In this video, we will see what you need to start your way into the incredible world of FPV. I've been into FPV for two years now. Flying makes me happy and it's the best hobby I can think of. Adrenaline is high from flying. Seems like you're a tiny jet pilot in a gigantic world. The goggles bring you into the parallel universe of flying and the feelings are quite realistic. A lot of people think that FPV is complicated. You need to know how to solder, assemble the drone and use screwdriver quite a lot. Well, yes, it used to be like that, but now it's much easier. You can just fly it and enjoy it. Although it is impossible to do it without a screwdriver. Now I unscrew the camera. But if you love to play with Legos as a child, you will love FPV drones. Expensive Legos for adults. First you need to pick your drone. Yes, I do have a lot of FPV drones. And all these I didn't assemble myself. Now there are many companies that make ready FPV drones for filming and flying. And they are quality solutions. Let's start from the least interesting and then pick the best one. The drone I don't recommend buying right now is a DJI FPV. I killed two of those. One started malfunctioning after my flight near the waterfall. And I crashed it as I was diving another waterfall. My other regular FPV drones didn't have any problems with waterfalls. I drowned my second DJI FPV in the lake after a sudden loss of signal. I called a local team of divers and somehow they found it and returned it to me. But the drone was dead. Main reason why I don't recommend DJI FPV is because the signal system is old and the camera quality is too low. Also, the drone is too fragile and it wouldn't fly after the crash. All these flights were filmed using the DJI FPV, but with a mounted GoPro on top of the drone. Instead of DJI FPV, I got myself Gepard C Mark V. If you need a racing drone for high speed and rapid maneuvers, I recommend this particular model. Wow. It's very easy to make any kinds of tricks and for now it's the best model on the market. 5-inch drone is considered to be the best option for outdoor filming with full GoPro. Now you can buy the drone with DJI O3 system, but we will talk about it later. Link to Gepper C Mark V with DJI O3 will be in the description. I flew a lot with this drone and it works perfectly. The drone reacts very fast to even the slightest joystick moves and that will allow you to fly closer to obstacles on high speed. It can go up to 200 km per hour. There are no height limitations, unlike on the DJI FPV, so you can reach the highest peaks. But you need to understand the drone is very powerful and heavy, so it's not okay to fly among people. Next, we have DJI Avatar. This drone is a maximum admiration and a big disappointment. I love the option of flying with GPS and stabilization. Also, it's protected quite well. I crashed lots of times and it's still flying. Yeah, it does. I'm also impressed with the compact charger. This is the charger from the DJI Avatar. And this is the charger from my other FPV drones. 
but this one can only charge one battery and this one can charge four batteries at once. But furthermore, we have lots of minuses. It's very noisy. The built-in camera has a low quality for good videos, especially if you want to shoot vertical videos for Instagram or TikTok. Full GoPro is very heavy for it, so I soldered wires to power my naked GoPro. And the main problem, this drone doesn't like strong winds. During high wind, it's shaking, losing control and falling down. You will need to buy remote control and lots of batteries. So for a start, it's quite pricey. I estimated the cost around $2,000. More information about the price for all components, you can check on my review about the DJI Avatar. Check the link here. Instead of DJI Avatar, now I'm flying on Gepard C Cinebot 30. It also has a DJI O3 module. In fact, DJI O3 consists of the same parts as DJI Avatar. So now you can use a DJI Avatar camera and video transmitter on any FPV drone. Gepard C is a company that produces the best Cinewhoops and they have lots of different models. This drone is perfect for beginners and it has propeller guards and you can hit some obstacles and fly safely around people. This drone I used to make my one-shot videos when the drone goes through the holes and among people. Compared to DJI Avatar, it has more powerful motors, so it resists the wind better and can lift even a whole GoPro, although it casts better with the GoPro Mini. Unusual design with a backlight that you can turn on and off using the remote. Also, I like CineLock 30. It's not that powerful compared to CineBot 30, but it's lighter, much less noise and it's powered by smaller batteries. Next we have long range drones. The biggest, the most reliable and with the longest flight time in its generation is a 7 inch drone iFlight Chimera 7. And yes, it also has the new DJI O3 system. I have big plans with this drone for my future adventures. I want to fly along the peaks of different volcanoes. There are quite a few on the Java Island in Indonesia, not far from Bali. This drone can stay in the air for about 30 minutes. It has no altitude limitations, unlike DJI FPV and Avatar. Now it's important to use long-range drones with DJI O3 because of the range and signal quality. Anik FPV did a range test with DJI O3 system and he could fly for 23 kilometers. This is some unbelievable number. It's very important to have GPS if you fly on a long range. Telemetry lost. Uh. RF signal critical. GPS saved my ass a few times in Iceland. I also lost connection while I was flying at Batur volcano. The drone even started falling down. And then I lost connection in Krabi province. I reached the cliff and the signal was gone. Good thing I had my GPS, so I returned my drone no problem. To express the atmosphere of traveling and give your audience full experience of the adventure, you'll need the right music. In my videos, I use music from the Epidemic Sound website. And here it's very easy to find music for your edit. You can search by genre, mood or themes. My favorite genre is epic. In the same section, there is a sub-theme travel. I use a lot of cinematic travel. Also, on this website, there is my album with the music I use quite often. I suggest you register using the link in the description and you will get one month of free use. And on top of that, Epidemic is giving you guys an additional two months with 50% off. All you have to do is click the link in the description and use promo code EARTH50 at a checkout.
Next one is my favorite drone, FlyWoo Explorer. This is also a long-range drone with GPS and DJI O3 system. It's very small and it is the quietest drone I have ever seen. Ideal solution for traveling. It weighs less than 250 grams. The only thing is that it's a bit shaky during strong wind. And yes, I used to dive it along all major waterfalls in Iceland. These videos are made using this small guy. Also, I used it to fly to the summit of Agung Volcano. Telemetry lost. When you're buying a new drone, I recommend you pick DJI O3 signal system. It is module with a camera. It is transmitting the image to your goggles. It can work with old V2 goggles as with the new ones. It also has slot for SD card. You can make videos in 4K 60 frames per second with the quality same as DJI Avatar. Along with the video, this system also records gyro data that will allow you to make super smooth stabilization in GyroFlow software. Some data says that the signal is two times better comparing with the old DJI FPV system. If you're looking for your first FPV drone, I recommend to start with Cinewoop. Cinebot 30 is a perfect match. If you can fly already and need the best FPV drone, Mark V is for you. If you're unsure if FPV flying will work for you and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then I suggest starting with the ready-to-fly budget kit Cetus or Cetus X. This kit is all you need to fly. I also learned to fly FPV with this small kit, a good option for the start. The main camera for FPV is of course GoPro. And if you're looking for better quality, the choice is definitely for GoPro. With GoPro 11, we have the ability to film both horizontal and vertical mode for Instagram and YouTube. And all that with 10 bit for amazing color grading. This means the beautiful cloudy sunset we can turn into a fire sunset. The easiest way and the cheapest is to buy GoPro 11 mini. I got it on the GoPro website for $200, very pleasant price. It will fit for Mark V, Chimera 7 and Cinebot 30. Mark V and Chimera 7 can easily take off with the whole GoPro 11. For smaller drones like Flywheel Explorer or Cinelock 30, you will need a naked GoPro. So I use GoPro Bones. I recommend you choose new DJI goggles too. I like how compact they are. Good video quality, 1080p for each eye with the DJI O3 system. This is an amazing quality with the high detailization, which will give you full experience of the flight. But there is one problem. The goggles push in my nose. I even got myself an extra mask from Ali, but it didn't help. I hope in the future they will find a solution for those with big noses. A bit cheaper option are the old version V2. They have lower picture quality and bigger size. Other than that, you'll still be able to fly awesome and on far distances. <laughs> if it looks like we are having a lot of fun, we are not having a lot of fun. The moment the picture in your glasses starts crumbling and you lose the connection, you realize you're probably gonna sink about 500 bucks. So, happy first glacier to you. Happy first glacier, yo!
New ones go for $650. The old ones are $430. I use TBS Tango 2 and in my opinion, it is the best long range equipment. Its price is around $200. When you buy the drone for this controller, you'll need to choose TBS Nano RX or Crossfire. Less expensive option, iFlight Commando 8 with Earl's connection system. So when you buy the drone for it, choose Earl's system. The price for this controller is $130. For the DJI Avatar, we need DJI FPV controller. Its price is $200. It's not included with the drone purchase. Also, all drones with the DJI O3 system will work with the FPV controller. My idea was to use this controller for all my drones. But then I got a letter from iFlight where they didn't recommend to use this controller as if it loses the connection with the goggles, you will instantly lose connection with the remote control and that will add risk of losing the drone. In the description, I will add some links for different FPV drones. Before you fly your first FPV drone, you need to train in the simulator and fly at least 10 hours in the virtual world. So if you have a limited budget, you can first buy only the remote control and already start training in the simulator. When the money appears and you can buy the rest of the equipment, you will already have experience and you can fly in the real world. Mother of God, what a flight! The rocks were so close! I'm still sitting here on the edge, it's just mind-blowing! Ah! <laughs> when you fly FPV, you get full control and go through narrow obstacles. Meditation of some sort, my mind is clear. All attention to the flight, I feel like a bird. Thank you guys for watching, comment if you have an FPV drone, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. You forget everything that's been stressing you out, you forget all the discomfort because you're flying, you're like a bird soaring just above it all, you see things that no man is allowed to see, it's like you're hacking away at life and your capabilities when you're flying FPV.